Let's have a proper send-off. Greetings one and all, my name is Lancer, and welcome to the finale of Season 4 of Data Live, as well as the end of our Reaction Rewatch. It's sad, but it was only a matter of time before we got here. The end of the rewatch and the end of the season. But hey, we'll save all the sentimental talks for the end of the video, because last time on Data Live, oh man, the long-awaited Kurumi backstory. We learned how Kurumi first attained her Saphira from Origin and how they had a close relationship. It was Origin ultimately using Kurumi to help her refine the Saphira, and of course one of the people she put the Saphira into was Kurumi's friend was Kurumi's friend, leading Kurumi to where she is today, vowing to kill the spirit of origin. How will Shido take this information, and what will be Kurumi's plan, now having Shido in her clutches? Well, for one last time for this rewatch, thankfully not for one last time for Dead Alive, because season 5 is still coming out, but let's get right into the episode. I'm not saying that everything I've done was right, not by a long shot. I did the spirit of origins bidding. I'm going to end up leaving behind a mountain of corpses. Nothing more or less than an enemy of humanity. A nightmare. I'm a walking, living nightmare of endless death. But if there really is some kind of an afterlife, then I'm obviously bound for the lowest level. But it's fine. I don't care about that. Not if I manage to slay the spirit of origin, Mio Takamiya, by my own hand. She just wants Mio revenge. Worth it. Ends justify the means, and yeah, Takamiya. Bring all that's happened back to zero. Back to the beginning of it all. Back to zero. Before, I'm going to have to use that power you hold, Shido. If I go into the past and erase the spirit of origin, then I'll never become a spirit, and that will erase so much. But how much else would that change, though? That would erase maybe all the other spirits, too. If I eliminate that spirit, even my devouring of you should cease to take place. She would just wipe herself from history. It's kind of like, I never realized just how similar this is to Origami's arc. Just, they both want revenge against the spirit of origin. I mean, you should probably talk to Origami. The ends didn't necessarily justify the means. There's nothing I can offer you as a fair trade. So I feel like this is the least I can do. I've given it some thought, and all I have to offer you is my everything. Everything that isn't my spirit power. It's the underwear she bought earlier. <laughs> I remember when I watched this episode. I mean, funny thing is, like, the, that finale is one of the most viewed videos on my channel. I wonder if this one will reach the same heights. Probably not, but... <laughs> I talked about it there, is that... This scene, if this scene happened like two seasons prior, it would have been looted to holy hell. But this doesn't feel that way. It feels genuine love. It feels like it's a genuinely earned scene, you know? She's not being lewd with it. So they can have sex but not kiss. Or, well, I mean, they can kiss, right? It's just she can't open her heart to him. But I feel like she knows that. It's like she already loves him. I mean, to offer herself like that. One last time with this banger, man. Yeah, it truly is over. If you have not already, obviously it's really late to say this, I guess, but do be sure to like and subscribe because though this is the end of the rewatch for the Data Live series, obviously, by the time this comes out, we'll probably be fairly close to the end of season five. But even so, those of you that have joined and those of you who will continue to join, I hope you'll stick around with me for many more videos to come because I plan to obviously continue doing reaction series to plenty of other anime and obviously whatever the future of Data Live holds, whenever season six or any other maybe spin-off OVAs or pff, pff, kind of praying for maybe a movie or something, I will absolutely be here for it. All right, man. Let's do this. Found you. Uh, bad time. <laughs> Unless you want to join. <laughs> It'd be so sad for you to die without knowing a girl. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot of nerve, don't you? Especially considering you're a bunch of phony spirits. You know what I think? You just insulted our father. That's what I think. And that's unforgivable. <laughs> I really like her voice. Yeah, she has a gun. What are you gonna do grabbing her? Kurumi. I know Beelzebub set her up for success, so another failure strikes very odd indeed. Don't forget you failed more than anyone, so... <laughs> she looks like a mad old grandma sitting there. If not for her, we could have killed Shido Itsuka tons of times. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. The worst spirit is fully committed to protecting a human. Even full nightmare. 
She doesn't play nice. She's defied all of our plans. Shocker, the worst spirit nightmare doesn't play nice. Makes one wonder if she knows what we plan to do. Mm. Even before we do it. Do you know what her power is? She has ability over time. So sorry to keep you waiting, dear Shido. Ah, the original one. Or the older one. Clone? She was already tired to begin with, but then there was all the fighting on top of that. The thing you don't know yet is that you've already died. Several times. What's this condition of yours for sealing your spirit power? My condition is... <laughs> Mm. After all this time, it was that easy, huh? Or it was supposed to be that easy. It's kind of like a twist on season one with all the Kermi copies, and now it's a bunch of Nebocles. She's fighting with them. Fuck. That action music cut very quickly. Here you go, me. For you. A present. But now they've all inverted. Oh, that's so cool. That's cool but terrifying. I wish we could have seen their like what they all look because obviously we know what Toka and Origami look like, but I mean it's safe to assume the tornado is Kaguya and Yuzuru. I guess they've gone inverse, haven't they? Inverse. Not that it's any <laughs> What a shot, dude. That literally is like doomsday. I mean, just one of them inverting is bad enough, but like all of them, yeah, say goodbye to this world. <laughs> Yes, it is. Surprised she didn't invert too. <laughs> Can't bring him back to life though. She don't wake up. It's no use, Nay. Daletto's bullet does reverse time. What was that? It's no use, Nay. Daletto's bullet does reverse time. voice. <laughs> and that's what we see in the season five OP. There's still one thing you can do. Wait, what's going on? My sixth bullet, Vav, has somehow been restored. <sighs> the question is why, though. But I remember it was broken during the fight with Kotori. <sighs> Fuck, that's right! You think it could be? It was right after the fight I had with Kotori. And before I left, I gave you a brief kiss as a form of thanks. All the way back then. Oh my god. The moment we made that connection, my sixth bullet Vav was sealed. Though it may not have been fully, it was at that point that I first opened my heart to you, Shido. Mm hmm It's the only explanation that- Just a little bit. It wasn't because Zafkiel was broken. It was because part of my spirit power had been sealed by that kiss. Yeah, meaning you have it, so don't forget about that. I mean, he remembers eventually, but oh my god, that's- Mies. Please give me your word. He'll die for Shido's sake. Yes, yes, of course. And with pleasure. <laughs> you should have known we wouldn't turn down the challenge. Die for his Golly. sake. Join me. Come on an endless journey of death. <laughs> Zafkiel. Vav. Vav. By looking at this, it seems like it worked. And then so she stops Ellen. It was only thwarted thanks to a helpful assist from Mana, though there's no way you could have known that. 204. <gasps> That's how many times it's happened since February 8th. Oh my god. How many times in four days? They even dared to attack you when you were at home. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid it's put a terrible strain on my heart. And repeating the same day so many times has pushed my psyche to its limits. <laughs> I forgot she goes through a fucking Groundhog Day. She's Steins gating. I mean, it's literally Steins gate. No Kabade going through all that to save Meiri. I mean, still though, it, like it makes sense in the context of the story. But 204 times. Thank you for not spending eight episodes showing it over and over again. Why didn't you just devour me from the beginning? That would have been easier on you than repeating everything. I mean, 204 times. Please, how could you ask me anything so thoughtless? <sighs> My feelings were far too strong. She loves you too much. Well, me, it sounds like you've had a very interesting time. I'm so sorry about that, Shido. Please forgive her. She's new. She's new. Please, I don't want you to get me wrong, okay? There's only one reason I helped you understand that. I did it purely so I wouldn't lose all the spirit power you've sealed thus far. Then why did you devour him at some point? <laughs> Even now, <laughs> you gave the perfect reasoning. Do it now, go back, and then it undoes it. Oh wait, there's a huge reason why. You love him. Stop being Sun Sun. Mm -hmm. 
Until next season. <laughs> I don't even remember what the rest of this episode's about. <gasps> yes, I do. <laughs> Who among any of you can fault me for telling him if I felt I needed to? Think of all the times I've saved Shido's life. What about that? I mean, he must feel some level of gratitude towards me, right? So the point is, what bad could come of it, you know? <laughs> dude, I've... Dude, Alexis Tipton is the D. Bradley Baker of Data Life. She voices the same character so many different times, but she gives them all, like, their unique emotions. It's, oh, so good. It might seem like he's touched my heart or something, which is totally not true. We can expect another attack soon. DEM Industries will surely send forces again. Oh my god, I just, it just connected with me. It's just like, even all the way up to the battle when he uses Vav himself, she's still saving him. 205. Are we feeling a little troubled? Could I? Here we fucking go. I only came to offer you some advice. We're supposed to welcome you? Have you forgotten how I assisted you by providing information time and time again? Wasn't I the one who told you about Shido Itsuka? Ah, now I see. You already know, mm. don't you? Shove it. Got her. Well, in case there was any final doubts. So now we're looking at your true form? Not quite what I expected. Fucking Terminator shot. Yes, I didn't anticipate being stripped of my temporary form so easily, but here we are. That's so Kurumi, don't you think? It's Miss. That's so. Murasame. Fucking it's Elden Ring music. Why did she call her Mur Murasame? It's always been Mursa. <laughs> Fuck. Me, seize her now. That easy. <laughs> there is no hell deep or hot enough for the likes of you. Oh my god, it's about to end. Fuck. Hi, everyone. Oh my god, so many characters. Can we locate Kunami? Can we, Reyna? No. She's still missing at the moment. Uh-huh. I'm stupid. Oh my god. That wasn't Reyna. That was Mio. Well, same diff, but that's why she came out of her in season five. Dude. Kurumi dug her own grave. She took her in and then she came out. Oh my god. Because I always thought it was just a case of like, oh, she's like omnipresent or whatever. She could just expel her conscience and bring it back. Holy shit. I have to tell you everything that's happened and everything Kurumi's done for me this whole time. I need because this time it's finally my turn to save her. Data Live 5. Motherfucker. I know there's a little snippet at the end, though. That was simultaneously one of the fastest episodes, but also one of the best episodes. That's why I don't really view season five as like season five. I view it more as like season four, part two, because it's just, it bleeds so well into season five. Dude, this song is so good. I need to add it to the playlist. And here's our little snippet. Spirits. Special designation disaster beings that exist in a critical space. Uh -huh. The origin of spirits. The mystery of Shido Itsuka. Origin. All of this shall become clear. Date A Live 5 is coming soon. Be ready. Oh, it's coming soon, all right. And baby, so am I. <laughs> well, that was Date Alive Season 4. I mean, but also that was Date Alive Seasons 1 to 4. That was my rewatch reaction. Holy shit, man. Dead Alive 5 will be coming soon. I still I still remember my fucking crazed reaction when it switched from 4 to 5. In the Japanese, it said plan for production. And here it says coming soon, which, yeah, same thing. All things considered, it was soon. Two years, as opposed to fucking the gap between season, what, 2 and 3, which was five years. And another three in between 3 and 4. Dude, there was so much in that episode that I can't believe I've forgotten about. I'm glad I decided to actually rewatch season 4. Because I almost didn't. I was like, eh, I've already done it before. I mean, I was going to still rewatch it in my own time, but I'm glad I did it for the reactions. Just, yeah, all the pieces were there. I should have rewatched this before season five started, man. But even still, it made it better knowing the information we had up to when I started. Knowing that Reyna is the spirit of origin, knowing the full details of Shido's backstory. It made rewatching certain episodes even better. And honestly, once we get to the end of season five, it's going to make me want to rewatch the series again. Being like, all right, now 
glad we have even more information, but hell, I'll save another rewatch for maybe once the show is completely done. But yeah, Kurumi has saved Shido 204 times, and then after recent events in season 5, make it 205. Man, if I had rewatched this right before season 5, all the twists and turns that I experienced when watching it still would have been awesome, but it would have been less of an impact, I feel like, which does, it is cool. Just the whole thing of like, he always has Vav because she kissed him that one time, which sealed just that little bit of Kurumi, just her sixth bullet. What's the difference between Vav and Yudbet? I feel like they're the same thing. It's just a Yudbet can send you back even farther, but yet Vav can only send you back a little bit farther. Before I start talking more about just this whole rewatch, season four, man. Let's discuss arc by arc. Uh, Nia's arc was even shorter than I remember. I mean, I knew it was three episodes, but man, was it a fast three episodes. But yet, it was one of the arcs that ends up being one of the most integral arcs because I gets Beelzebub. It ties into the Kurumi arc later. Like, there's a part of me that almost kind of wishes that Mukuro's arc happened first, and then it was Nia and then Kurumi, because I feel like those two arcs tied more together. Mukuro's arc just kind of was just in the middle. But the way I looked at it, it's like Nia's was very integral for the story, not necessarily because of Nia herself, but more just like the powers and circumstances that surrounded it. And then Mukuro's arc was a nice return to form, I feel like, while also being one of the fucking best arcs. The chaos and romance that is Day Alive, that arc perfectly encapsulates what that story is. And then Kurumi's, man. Kurumi's arc, which then bleeds into Origins, and Mio's, which starts season five. As much as I kind of want to now go into season five watching the dub for reactions, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Even though I said it's like, oh, it's redundant. I know it's also redundant, the fact that I've done season four twice on the channel, but look, it's been long enough. Maybe before season six comes out, maybe rewatch season five. Nah, maybe not. Because season five, though, it's it's fun in its own way. It's depressing as hell and just sad and death. So I'll just leave my normal reactions as is. But yeah, man, this is the end. The end of the rewatch. Obviously, we're still going to be watching season five week to week. Or well, again, by the time this comes out, it's probably close to the finale of season five. But hey, I'm sure season six, hopefully, is not that much farther on the horizon. At most another two years. But this show has been so fun to rewatch on the channel, man, just because I've always had that love for this series, but now going through it, rewatching, especially in the English dub, which is just, again, how I've always loved watching the show. It was an experience I'm glad I got to share with everyone on this channel. Though I've kind of voiced some complaints being like, God, I wish I was able to record anything else. Again, that's my choice. It's my choice to do all this, but it is going to be nice to now go and record stuff that isn't data life. At the same time, I am going to it. It's just such a fun show to talk about, and though it'll never reach the height of popularity that I wish it would, it's a show that I wish more people would give a chance. Because though the first couple seasons do have a lot of those very lewd and very etchy harem tags that have not aged the best, it's just the time period it was in, alright? I would say the etchy harem tag has long since left Data Live since I would say season 4. Even though season 4 still had a little bit of that, season 5 it's absolutely gone. It's funny watching Watching this series just with the new information that we've gotten from season five because in a way it does kind of ruin it because I look at it now so differently especially characters like Reyna so it was kind of hard to I guess recreate how I felt about the series when I first watched it because now I, I look at certain events and things so differently that's just hindsight I guess <laughs> do let me know down in the comments below if you have enjoyed my rewatch reaction because I know some people have said that since I started my series that also kind of motivated them to rewatch uh, the series themselves which yeah cool revitalize data live man especially the older seasons i mean it does kind of suck that i'm not going to be able to savor these that much because as i'm recording this i'm pretty caught up in terms of editing them so again really it's not going to hit me that i'm fully caught up until i've edited this video again it wasn't me catching up again it was me re-watching season four was the i don't want to say the weirdest this one felt the most new just because again season four is obviously my least rewatched season because it was the most recent but also i had never watched it in the english dub which definitely added a new layer of of love to it because I remember initially finishing I was like it was good I didn't like it as much as previous seasons which I, I would still say that's the case but holy shit I I still thought it was really fucking good especially you know this Kurumi arc Mukuro's and well I'm just looking for anything else to talk about just to drag this on as long as possible but for the sake of editing me I think it's time we put an end to this
this. And honestly, it will probably be fitting that this video will probably come out around the same time as the finale of season five. That'll be when I get truly emotional. Man, who would have thought that I would have to say goodbye to season four twice? Hey ho, I'm not sad because the sadness doesn't truly begin until I start watching season five. So if I don't watch it, it'll never be sad, right? Uh, what am I yapping? But either way, this was my reaction to the finale of season four, as well as now my complete rewatch reaction series to all of Day to Live that has come out to this point. Feel free to now watch all of the 60 plus episodes in their entirety, as well as watch both my first time reaction to season four and now my English dub rewatch of season four. And well, thank you all for joining me on this. I'm Lancer. Thanks for watching.